Hello, it's Monday, February 1st, and I am starting my next JLA vlog. I have one where I read from Blood and Ash, Kingdom of Flesh and Fire on my channel, as well as one where I read the first three books in the Lux series, and this is the next installment. I hopefully will be doing this vlog series throughout the year until I get through all of her books because I just adore her as an author. And the series that I'm starting in this vlog is the White Hot Kiss series, which is the Dark Elements series, and we follow Layla, who is half demon half gargoyle and she has this warden named zane who she has a crush on but he treats her like a little sister and because of layla's genetic makeup she has this this kiss that will kill anything with a soul so then comes this demon named roth who claims to know layla's deepest darkest secrets and she knows she should stay away from him but like also when the whole like kissing thing isn't an issue it's uh kind of hard to stay away but then like more stuff happens and now like kissing just seems like the least of their problems so i'm actually really excited to start this because this is just like sounds really fun and i am intrigued about the whole like gargoyle concept and this is my first read of fantasy romance february and i'm going to be trying and reading this whole series the first three books this week and doing a vlog for it so i can't wait i feel like her books are just like so easily readable too so i just am excited to dig into this and love it Hello, I'm here to update for my JLA vlog. So I'm currently in the middle of three books right now. We have White Hot Kiss, which is of course the topic of this vlog. I'm on page 297. I read like 200 pages last night and it flew by. Like Jennifer L. Armstrong just knows how to write two characters that have such good tension together. And the whole setup of this is that Layla is half gargoyle and half demon and basically the gargoyle's whole purpose in life is to eliminate demons from the earth but yet somehow the the wardens the gargoyles are keeping her alive and she doesn't know why and then this demon comes into her life and things go from there but also like adds to the answer to the story is that like layla will suck anyone's soul if she gets too close to them so if she like kisses like a boy she'll eat his soul so she can't kiss anyone but she has a crush on her like um on zane who is like a gar a, the gargoyle that she's closest with and so it's kind of like a little love triangle because then we have this smart mouth demon that enters and he's like everything you've been told is a lie and jennifer l armitage just knows how to write the tension so well the plot is just really fast paced and we kind of like see where we're going it's just a really cool setup i really enjoy learning about like the different demons. And one thing that JLA I feel like also does really well is slowly pacing the way that she builds the world. Like Layla is kind of left in the dark about a lot of the different ways that hell and the demons work. And as she is informed of those, that's how she's, that's how we're learning about it as readers. So the, the world building feels like very natural. And it's so like fun kind of to like have like a demon centered story. So my plan for the evening is I definitely want to finish this. And then I think I want to spend some time reading my ebook before I move on to the second book, Stoned Cold Touch, just so that I am not in the middle of like three books at once. Usually I like to be in the middle of like two, like an audiobook and a physical, but sometimes I will also pick up an ebook because I can read it in bed, which I can't do with regular books because then the light will be on. So on my Kindle, I'm reading the Flames of Chaos series. I'm on the third one, Ashes of Chaos. And this series is like an 18 plus fantasy romance series very dark, very just like read the content warnings if you decide to jump into this one. I will be talking about it more in another fantasy romance video I'll be doing in the future. And then the third book that I'm reading is Serpent and Dove. Actually, I can pull that. Where is she? Is Serpent and Dove. I'm reading this one on audio and the audiobook is a lot of fun. I actually find that audiobooks may be my preferred way for rereading because I really just do enjoy rereading on audio. And I feel like you don't have to pay like as close of attention because you know like the borns of the story. So it just, I don't know, kind of something about the rereading process a little less stressful than like reading a book for the first time. Anyways, so I'm just loving their story. A witch and a witch hunter band in holy matrimony. Again, the tension between them is so good because it's like, uh, are they falling in love? But then like he doesn't know that she's a witch and he like should kill her. And like, it's just so good. And I'm reading this one in expectation to start Blood and Honey, which I think will probably be my next read after I finish the JLA series. I also want to haul some books that I've gotten recently because I like haven't really done a vlog in a while. So I've had some books sent to me by authors, which I will like talk more about in detail in a future video, but we have Tempest of Brevore, Kingdom of Scent by Valetta 
if you're jealous. Queen of Empire by H.R. Moore. This is on my TBR for February and she's running the Pharaoh Fe Feb. And Feather by Olivia Wildstein, which I just absolutely love this cover and it has some character art inside. Like, I love this print. And this is like an angels based fantasy romance book, I think. Then I have Orange Volume 1. I really want to read more manga this year, so I'm so happy that this came in the mail. And this is actually a Christmas present from Nicole or Nicole and her books and it's so funny because this literally took like three different attempts to get this book to me because like at first like I had the wrong address on my Amazon wish list and then she got me a book from Book Depository and I opened it and it was some World War II memoir and I'm like this does not seem like the type of book that Nicole would buy me and so she had to go back and forth with them and then finally this arrived so yay I'm so happy that it's finally here finally got to me in one piece and thank you nicole for this lovely christmas present i guess maybe, maybe it's a valentine's day present now too since it's close to valentine's day and then i got this arc from the publisher called phoenix flame by sarah holland on my february tbr super excited to read this this is like a contemporary fantasy and i really enjoyed the first book can't wait to read the second one and lastly i got the shadow and bone collector's edition from the uk it says Light Coast Light on the back, and this matches the Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom Collector's Edition. Let me pull this up because they're right here. Whoa. So it matches these guys, as you can see. But I also have the US Collector's Edition, which as you can see, stunning, but a completely different design. So it's like, well... I need this one too, and it has sprayed edges as well. There was also a Fairy Loot exclusive edition, which is pretty much the same thing, but it had like vines on the, the spine. Okay, so that's pretty much my update for now. So like I said, I'm probably gonna try and finish White Hot Kiss tonight. My plan is to go work out real quick, eat dinner, read, maybe watch a TV show, and read some more. And I do wanna finish that ebook, so that I think like finishing this book instead of starting the next JLA book read my ebook, and then start the next one tomorrow. And then tomorrow's Friday, so it's the weekend, so I can just read all weekend. And that's that. That's not sitting. Well, he's on a big field. Hey, Gav, can you sit? Sit. Sit. Oh, what a good boy. Hello. So it's Saturday, February 6th. I have my live show for these Violent Delights tonight, which I'm very excited about. But in the meantime, I don't know, today I just want to be all about reading. So I woke up and we went on a walk in the woods earlier, which was very nice. I think I'm gonna have some footage of that before this. So you will have probably seen, it was very snowy. I thought the snow had pretty much already melted, so I did not wear the proper footwear, but I made it out alive, so it's good. Okay, so I finished. <laughs> I finished this book last night and I mean, it's Jennifer L. Armitrout, and I just love her stuff, and this book was no exception. It was really great. I just thought the romance was so good. Like, she just writes sexual tension so good. Like, there's a big love triangle in this, and I like, don't... Like, I do have a favorite, but, like, I wouldn't be mad with the other guy, and it's interesting to see, like, I haven't read a Jennifer L. Armitrout book with a love triangle yet, so I'm interested to see how she tackles this trope. And honestly, I feel like love triangles used to be way bigger and then like they've kind of died out a little bit. And so I'm, you know, I'm always down for a good love triangle because I feel like I haven't had like a really solid good one in a while. So, yes. And like if you see this cover, like these scales, like this is like what the gargoyle scales look like, I'm pretty sure. And then this fire appears for the demon. It's really interesting too to see how Layla struggles with her identity because she's half gargoyle, half 
demon and like the gargoyles are meant to send the demons back to hell she like really struggles fitting in even though she was adopted by the warden and she's always questioning and the wardens are the gargoyles she's always questioning like once once she meets Roth the demon she starts to question like why she has really been like kept around all these years like are they just using her and also has a lot to do with her identity and stuff like that and just basically how she feels like she doesn't fully really like belong in either world and she tries to like suppress her demon side so that she can fit in more with the wardens now here we have it stone cold touch this is the longest in the series it has some some ice up here so see that i'm icy i see that i'm icy i also like think it's interesting a lot of jennifer l armatron's books used to have like more I guess like romance cover-esque covers with like models on them and now they kind of change into these graphic designs so it's interesting to see like how books get reprints and new covers when new trends come along. So okay, so this is the second book. I do think that there's a novella that you can read at any point. It was like supposed to be a prequel novella. It has to do with like side characters. I don't think it's like super important to the story. So I think I'm just gonna dive into this one today and let's see like how far I can get. And I'm hoping that we get to see more of this like love triangle in action. And I'm interested to see like which leg of the triangle will be more developed in this novel. So that's where I'm at today, and I haven't read any of my Kindle book at all in the last few days. I do want to read it, but I just, I got so tired last night because I stayed up late finishing this. And then once I got into bed, I'm like, I don't have the brain capacity to read on my Kindle, so I didn't. But now I'm starting this nice and early in the day. I don't know what it is, but mostly I've only been reading at like night night lately. So now that I have like a day, I want to read during the day. And uh, so that's it. So I'll update you guys later. Okay, so it's like 3 a.m. and I've been reading it still in cold touch. With my little buddy Gap in here. It's been my little reading buddy snuggling up to me. Um, I started it this morning and I'm on page 249, so I'm more than halfway through. Like this book is just so easily readable and the love triangle. <laughs> like in a love triangle, there's always one interest that interests me more than the other and it has flipped from book one to book two completely flipped like which one and now so like i feel like book one focus on the first love interest and book two focus on the second love interest and like what's gonna happen in book three i don't know and i'm really interested to see like how all the demons work and it's just such like a fun world building but oh my god the romance because it's more like a friends to lovers versus in not like enemy almost enemies no not really enemies to lovers but like newer love interest and like they also kind of represent like the two sides of Layla's identity because one's a demon and one's a warden oh my god he's so cute look at you Kevin you're just so adorable yeah hamming up for the camera that's my little cutie pie <gasps> oh, sweet. <laughs> You're so adorable. Literally, all I do all day long is just stare at my dog and tell him how cute he is. Oh my God, he's so cute. I'm gonna snuggle with me. All I read is my best buddy, right, Gavin? Love of my life. Kissy. What a good boy. Love giving kissy something. He's just so cute. Oh, let me get a good pick for the thumbnail. Kevin, look at the camera. What a model. He's looking at that book. Oh, he just kissed the book. Oh my god. He's licking the book. Why are you licking the book? This is not what I wanted. Okay. Kevin, look at mommy. Oh, what a good boy. Okay, yeah, this is totally going to be the thumbnail. Hell yeah. Boop. Boop. You can't eat it, though. You did give it a little licky. Because you give it love. Boop. Boop. Is it Gavin approved? Boop. Boop. Okay. Gavin, say goodnight. 
Hi, Kevin. Hello. So, it's Monday, February 8th, and I'm still reading a Stone Cold Touch. I'm about 70% of the way through. Literally loving it, and I've not been this torn between two different axes of a love triangle since, like, clockwork angel which is just insane like both of these love interests are so cool and like they obviously kind of like represent the different sides of layla because she's half warden half demon one's a demon one's a warden so it's kind of like this internal war within her and like so i have two very special packages to open today some exciting book mail so oh wow it's wrapped that's so nice In an upcoming video, I have a copy of Guild by Raven Kennedy, which is a fantasy romance. And I got this little bookmark tag. And this little note. Very cute. Let's see. And she signed it. Very cute. Oh, and like these chapter headers. And this is like a fantasy romance King Midas retelling. Cool. And look at the cover, it's so pretty. I'm gonna be talking about this book in an upcoming fantasy romance book, my second in the series. So keep an eye out for that. And this package, I'm so excited for. I just read The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern and I love, no way. What? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna scream. I, this is the Waterstones edition with the B key sword. No way. Oh my God. Hold on, uh, hold the phone. Okay, so apparently it's not Waterstones. It's just the UK first press that had the stencils. But the stencils are so amazing, so I love it. Are you lost or are you exploring? It says. Okay, well, and look at this. Very cool. And page. This is totally going on my shelf, like face out like that, because I just love it. So let's go put her on the shelf. This is so exciting. Right now, the Starless Sea is here. Kind of like this little adult fantasy section I've got in. Okay. Oh, hey, look at her on the show. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Hell yeah. That's all for my little update for now. Hello, it's Thursday night, and I just finished Stone Cold Touch. So... This one I ended up giving 5 out of 5 stars. I think the first one was more like a 4.5 stars, but this was so solid. And I'm really torn between the two love interests and just like the way that Miss JLA manages to pull off this novel. It's done so, so well. Oh my god. I just, I just loved it. And like, I'm eating up every second of this love triangle. There is like a novella that's like a hundred pages that has to do with like some side characters that are barely involved that came out before the first one. So I don't really think I need to read it before I read the last one. I'll probably read it after I finish every last breath. But I literally just want to dig into this book because I'm so into the series. Oh my God. It's so good it's so good so we have this final book here and it's looking a little dark and i don't know just something about jennifer l armatron's books i just speed through them they're so good so if you need me i'll be reading this tonight what's up it's saturday february 13th and i just finished every last breath so i finally finished this trilogy and i loved it i thought it was so good this was such a good conclusion to the series i like the way the love triangle was wrapped up i thought it was done very well and now there's a follow-up series sorry to say the last one in that trilogy is out in june so i think i'm gonna wait until june to read that follow-up series but i just like love the world of the wardens and the demons the fact that we had like a demon book with gargoyles it was just great and like 
tension was good the romance was so good even though it was ya like it didn't get like too smutty or anything like that but there's still like some good little spicy ya appropriate level scenes in there which i enjoyed so yeah and now i'm going to read bittersweet love on my kindle which is just like a 100 page novella set in this world i think it released before the start of the series so like you could basically read it at any time but i just like kind of want to finish this whole series today so i'm gonna do that and then i will officially wrap up this vlog okay so i just finished the novella that goes along with the series called bittersweet love and i enjoyed it it was kind of like a rom com -y feeling and it definitely introduced you to the world so it probably would have been better to read it first but like Whatever, it's fine. It was like a cute little story of some side characters and how they ended up together. Of course, JLA does romance great. Overall, I just really enjoyed the White Hot Kiss series. I get, give the first book 4.5 and the second two 5 stars. So I loved it. I thought the love triangle was really well handled. I loved the demon gargoyle theme. I'm just trash for JLA's books. And so I think next I'll either like finish Lux or, and start um, the follow up to that. Those are my plans, and that's it for now. So, thank you for watching. Let me know if you read the series down below, and have some fun reading books. We'll catch you guys in the next one.